Okay, so in this video, what I want to do is explore what the graph of log base 2 of x looks like. Okay, so we're going in cold. We don't know anything about what this curve could potentially look like. So best thing to do is to try and plot some points. Okay, so let's start with building up a table. Now, what values shall I choose? Well, it makes sense for me to choose something like minus 2, minus 1, 0. Um, let's go in with 1. Let's go 2. Let's go 3. Let's go 4. OK, so let's start with this. So get in the calculator. Use the log button, log base 2. And we're going in with minus 2. Uh oh math error. Okay, so log base 2 of minus 2 doesn't exist. All right, okay, so let's try minus 1. Log base 2 of minus 1. Math error again. No. Okay, let's try 0. Math error again. See when you get a trend here. Okay, let's try 1. Ah, we get 0. Right, OK, so something is happening here with negative values and zero as well, OK, such that we cannot seem to get any values for them. So actually what we'll find is that the curve does not exist on or to the left of the y-axis, OK? So it only exists to the right of the y-axis. So let's try log 2 of 2. Well, that's 1. Log 2 of 3, well, that's 1.58, so let's do 1.6. Go to one decimal place. And uh, log base 2 of 4 is 2. OK, looks like we're probably going to need a couple more values, doesn't it? OK, so if we go 5, then 6. OK, so log base 2 of 5 is 2.32, so 2.3 approximately. Uh, then 6. Uh, is 2.6 approximately. OK, so what are we seeing here? Let's, let's put in like log base 2 of 10. We get 3.3 .3 to one decimal place. So what we're seeing is look at these gaps between these values. 1, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 again. A little bit less because I've rounded them. OK, so by the time I get to 10, it's a 3.32, so it's only 0.7 away. So let's try log 10 of 100. That's only 6.6. .6. OK, so the actual increase of these values is decreasing. OK, so they're ac it's actually still increasing, right, but getting slower and slower and slower and slower. So what can we say about this? Well, What's going on between these two values? That probably needs a little bit of exploration. So let's have another bit of table. Okay, We know that um, when we have 0, we don't get a value. So we probably need something like 0.1. Let's do a couple of values. Let's do 0.5 as well, just to see what's going on. So log base 2 of 0.1 is minus... 3.3 to one decimal place, minus, and 0.5 is minus 1. OK, right, so based on that, OK, we can start to get a picture of what's going on. Now, we can see that when x is 1, the curve is at 0. When x is 2, we're at 1. When x is 3, we're at 1.6. When x is 4, we're at 2. OK, so this curve seems to be doing something like that. And then as we're going between 0 and 1, these numbers are becoming negative. So let's try uh, log base 2 of 0 0.001. Oh, we get minus 9.96. OK, so actually, the closer we're getting to the y value, 
the more negative my results are becoming. So this must act as an asymptote. Okay, so it's getting closer and closer and closer to the y-axis. So this is what y equals log base 2 of x actually looks like. And really, you should be looking at that and thinking, hang on a minute, I've seen something like that before. Because it looks funnily similar to y equals 2 to the x. In fact, it almost looks like you could hold up a mirror to them. Okay? And that is the case. y equals 2 to the x, y equals log base 2 of x are what is referred to as inverse functions of one another. Okay? Because they have this symmetry through the line y equals x. So, um, you know, why can't we have this logarithm working when x is zero? Well, the reason is that we know how logarithms work now. Okay, and what I'd be saying is that 2 to the something, whatever that is, is going to be equal to zero. But clearly, there is no value that I could put there that will get zero. We know that because this 2 to the x curve never crosses the x-axis. It never touches the x-axis. Okay, So I'll never cross it. And so, this has no solution. In fact, if I just change it to something like that minus 2, there is no value that I could substitute in there to get minus 2, to make the value in any way negative, because the curve of 2 to the x never goes below the x-axis. So this is what a logarithmic curve looks like. Okay, And you need to be able to draw one of those and show that it's crossing the x-axis there at 1. Because... As we know, right, if you have log base 2 um, of 1, okay, equals something, well, 2 to the something to be equal to 1, well, that's got to be 0, okay? So actually, log base of any value you like of 1 must be 0, because whatever that value is to the power of 0 will get you that 1. So they are actually all linked by this identity, okay, with logarithms. And we will see more of these little facts later on.